You know, I, I, I was all TNC before that axe pick, but I think that's a really Ooh. clever pick. I, I'm all still going to say TNC. I, I think TNC has the better draft. I think it, they're going to be too hard. To... He's got a lot of proof, as does everyone else on SMG. We're going to have to see if they can carry through and prove their point. Look at this though, John. SMG, a bit of a clever smoke going on here. So they placed the ward on the northern side of the river. Now they've smoked up. I think this is a bit of a surprise tactic. But can they get to the high ground of that thigh side triangle? They're going to try and sneak up from the backside. It's taking a little bit long though. I'm not sure if they're going to miss out on too many bounties, but no, there's no heroes around, so they're going to be able to steal one. Now, perhaps get a kill. Tim's going to run right into him. Light Strike Array, of course, is going to land, and Tim's, he's going to get a nice Earth Spike. In fact, a bit of a ravage there, but it looks like he is unable to really harass out Armel very much in this, in this mid lane. Does that bother you at all, John, the fact that this DP's not had the most amazing start so far? In fact, hold back a march. Now mid one. We'll make the rotation up on the axe. He'll start taking the stacks away from the side of TNC. So stacking in the opposing jungle. Yeah, it's just really good movement out. This lines up with the level six of Moon as well. So if you're going for a push, you have to fight in mid. Dyer's mid. Cold feet, not gonna lock him in mid one. He'll get the call off. He's got the conquer. And now with the light strike array, they'll control him up and they'll dunk him down. On to Arfu. Armel now is gonna show up for KB. He does get the sun off Arfu. He has the follow up and that'll be a dead Tims. It lands, but KP, he's a tanky boy. Does dunk a courier down. Bok is his ring of health and won't be able to finish off the Hood of Defiance. And now they have rotated more over, so Paul is there mid one. They get edged up by Armel, and here comes the boat right into the axe. Mid one, can he tank through this? He's a tanky boy, but not quite enough. He will have to It's taking trouble to keep up with the Kings here. Radiance Tower. Alright, does connect. Earth Spike is there to follow up, but Roggy's not buying. The horse in, they're trying to get the job done, but now mid one shows up. Roggy, he will eventually die. Now, can they keep going? They're trying. On to our food, but Nina is going to be just fine as TNC. Play aggressive, they still, you know, once you commit four years down mid, you've got to do something about something here. If he's got the blink up, John, he's gonna blink in right into Armel. Oh, we'll see if they can just try and burst him down, but that Lacuna, it just did no damage. Armel, oh, he'll run out of there, in fact, he'll turn right back around now with the boat out on the moon. He's trying to spread up his way to victory, but it's not looking great for him as the sun ray does fly in as well from Burmy. I thought it was going to be a really nice initiation, but our Mel Already taking over that bot. Turn. Turn. You just saw them, sir. They're going to run right into the DP, and oh, Ice Blast is there, but it won't matter because the finger is out from Fool. He is a late game powerhouse. That top lane now, KP's been caught out. Expoed is there. Armel will lock him down, but it isn't going to be long enough because Gabby's in now. Tim, he'll turn around with an Earth Spike out, and the Sun Ray. Going to be another kill out for Gabby. Finds another last hit. Box at the point where he's pretty scary on this brute and jumping KP. Yeah, KP, he's not really that tanky anymore. Not with that spirit vessel out. Oh, it's gonna take care of it. In fact, Armel. Dive are scanning. KP mid one in and set to try and just kind of spin his way, defending this tier two tower. Box gonna stick around though. He's, he's not afraid. In fact, Armel and Boomy's around now. In fact, top lane, Tim's. He's been caught out. He'll get dropped. They're not going to have that piece of advantage anymore, and they do take it out. So the next time they try to make that move on SMG, it's going to be a bit rocky. So they are smoked oh, up here no. going into the triangle. They ran right into the Spectral Dagger, though. That was very unfortunate timing, and now Tim a nice hex out of the mid one. And he can troll oh, him. Man. The core won't land either. In fact, Tharfu, he's trying to spiraling as they're trying to find it. Now the horse in. They get the vision out, and they want to stop the team fight. Mid one, he's been caught out in the X, and he's going to drop first. Roggy, he's trapped between a rock and a hard place. He'll be the third to die. Have caught out KB once again on the Dragon Knight, trying to force in that lane, but he's pulled the team, but it doesn't feel like enough. Mid one, he's gonna get run into now as well. Armel gonna spot him out and we'll go for the X. Got the X call, is there. Ice Blast is gonna land as well. You've got Boomy from the backside of Tim's. He'll show up right into the boat onto Roggy. They want the AA dead first. In fact, now they might be out as Armel in a bit of trouble, but a nice egg on the high ground. They're still trying to go after this hooker, but he's just so darn tanky. They'll run right into the oh egg and now the torrent on the two SMG. They'll keep the chase up. Oh, Armel is still ticking down and does eventually die to Moon. And the Exorcism Spirits. SMG, they're gonna try and rush a Roshan. In fact, Bok. 
Let's get caught out with the Yule Scepter. Mid one, gonna chase him down. Battle Hunger there. It should be enough. Watch him out with the Ice Blast and the Call Lane. We'll try to burst him down. And even with the Egg down, still have on, enough on hand to play with. And what, does catch out the Phoenix, but he's gonna be around. In fact, Gabby, he just pawns in. Rodney, he's gonna tie immediately you now mid one. He needs to back off, but the X is there right into the boat. They've got the X again. They'll finger him down. Ah, oh, gonna try. Gonna take quite long either. And this is this is scary for SMG. Like they might have seen both, they might have seen the finger drop, but Egg is back up for Boomy. So even if they commit here, knowing that a couple of spells are down, just having the Egg in this area makes it really tough, and that Roach does not last long enough in Europe. But it does take some time, and you're you're dealing with one of the best late game carries in that Spectre. So it's gonna be a tough road ahead for Mid1 here. The top smoke as well with KP. He does find a great target to get started. Or get Tim's on the line. TNC <laughs> immediately will just TP right out of there. And Moon gonna show himself. They'll go in. They'll get the hex off, and it looks like they might just burst him down. Gabby, he wants to go for a bit more now. He found Rodney, but instead will chase down KP, the ex teammate. Go for the BKB TP out and make it out. Rodney won't be so lucky. Go down on the AA, and gonna be another top D1 tower going down here for the side of TNC. Radiant G, uh, you've got to tell me, John, how do they get back into this game? It's looking very rough. Radiant's it's all in on this core axe. Attack. Mid one has his VKB flying out. Radiant's it, it's kind of like, how do you kill it? Attack. He's just going to walk away. Instead, they ping out on Mel, but go for the stun. With the ice blast out before the BKB does fly out, they'll take him down. Nice start for SMG. Gims. His TP camps, and it looks like he'll be the secondary to die, but he'll try to go for the full start towards the south. He might just make it. No KP. Think right on top. Get the job done. Or protect one, or if he's having mid one play in a different lane, he can join these fights easier now. We just oh, need to find one. opportunities. He's got the call out onto the Phoenix, but Tim's is there with the Earth Spike and Boat. He's gonna fly in to make sure they can protect that Phoenix's Gabby. He'll go into the backside, trying to go up for supports. Now Sunray's out with the Egg on SMG. They're gonna just try and back their way out of there. AB, the fine fight as mid one, jumps back in with the call out, but it's not looking great for the side of SMG. There's your team fight. You're out, KP. He will survive for now, but not for long. He'll get taken down by Bok, and now Armel. He'll be the one to be chased down as Gabby. The rest of TNC just looking to back off, but Bok is looking to restart the team fight. Back in. Who looks to be the target here on the lane up, but he is a very, very fast Lena right now, just running away. Instead, they'll try to focus down Moon as the X is going to be there, Armel. He'll get there in time. Found a much better target. That'll be a death profit going down. Can just completely blow somebody up. Now, Roshan gonna be spotted out. SMG, they're right in. No second guessing it. Funnelings, I believe, were on the way, but ENC, they may have no idea this is actually happening as they have not made the rotation to try and fight this. It's gonna be a 4v5 for now anyway, but See, slowly, slowly making their way over or trying to take the outpost to, to give Armel a TP point. That Roshan, still dropping. Spiderling's gonna give the vision over. Hawk, he'll show up. Mid one looking for a call. All attempt, but won't have the blinker. Now Hawk here, they'll have plenty of vision with that. Ice Blast to flying through, but there goes Arthur. He just is on the death move. He does pick it up, but he might lose it immediately as he does go down. He popped his BK E before he went down. He won't have it available now for the next fight. Roddy has been caught by Gabby, and with the nullifier, they'll take another. Moon, he's gonna try and run, but Fox on his tail. Real mess out on the side of SMG and or for TNC. Radiance Middle Tower. Another tower. It's uh it's awkward for SMG. They immediately lose the Aegis. They do at least manage to grab this Ag shard onto Moon, so he's got the Ag shard ready to go for him if he wants that additional Spirit Siphon charge and the potential fear that comes out. Uh, issue is they're losing a lot of objectives off of this. Tier two falls, mid tier three, high ground being sieged. They will have, they will not have Egg to play with here on TNC's end, but there's no extra system as well on Moon's respawn and the DK drag we're seeing right now. Like they're they're holding the game quite nicely. Smoke on smoke. Smoke up. TNC 
The vision KB will get the blink off. They want the Phoenix set immediately, but they can't burst him down. He has the Aeon disc and now mid one. He missed the call out. There's your horse hit from Gabby. Right up to the backside. Rocky and Arthur already gone and moon. He got the lead as well. KB, he's trying to run, but he cannot get away from the side of TNC. They will chase him to the ends of the earth. There's only one left. It's gonna be mid one. A nice blink away. Is it gonna be enough? It will be. Like, so many things have to go right for the team fight work. They have to get that call. They have to burst one hero down. And that surprise Aeon that's coming out was just too much to deal with. As your tier 3 tower done with these spidlings, it, it doesn't take very long to push down these racks. That'll be one. Look at TNT. Look how aggressive they're posturing at the moment with the smoke out now. Looking to go into that mid lane. And another pick off. And there you go. There's your horn kit. Who are they going to go on first? They found the big one. They found mid one of the axe, and there's no hope around. They are going to let him die without buyback gold. He just bought the bluff thorn, and they even found more moon. He gets Icarus dive on. There's your shadow stepping from Gabby. In fact, never mind moon. They'll take down Rocky first, and now with the X back. There is no X back, but it won't matter because Tint is there with the Earth spike. Locking down Moon. He will not chase that far in. In fact, no, no, no. He gets sucked up by KB, but look at Gabby. Right in on our food. KB. He can't get away from this. An ultra kill for Gabby, and there's your TD call being made. TNC. I've got to give him credit, John. I mean, it, it's the first game of the qualifier, but my goodness, are they looking clean. Oh yeah, they're maintaining what we saw from the end. You can be more aggressive with this fight for DK, and you can look for more of those objectives rather than pickoffs here for teams. Be there, along with mid one on the Medusa, going into the Viper Tusk though. That is a very hard lane for that lion, let alone them. Look for the tag team, look for that slow pickoff, but they are getting some good damage on the bot. He's not respecting the output oh, from mid point. Absolutely. Mid lane, Moon and Armel just kind of going at it onto the DK and the Ricky. Very even kind of matchup between the two, and this should be a very kind of boring matchup as bot lane up. Boom, in a bit of trouble, Boomy. Going for the Icarus dive, and he will be able to secure the kill. Media tips out onto our food from Boomy. We're not going to be too happy about that one as he got the first block going to TNC and. Mark, look for the mid tower if he wants to. KP. And you can see SMG. Oh. Bot lane, KP, he's in a lot of trouble right now. He is for Gabby, which is really good news. As again, you're just not gonna have the same flash farm potential coming through Yay. compared to mid one. And having this good start for Gabby enables him to just hit his fights a bit faster. In lane, Moon, he's been caught now. Shards are out. Tank rather fix the trade was Denied. there. It's uh, on the edge, they're really committing hard for mid now. Off he's gonna go for that bounty man. They found Tim's. Right next to the Ancients, he could try for a deny, we'll see how lucky he can get. They have a nice forward board to watch, stacks that might come out and uh -oh, try lane. to find you that four. Come They've got the Chrono space. out, KB in a spot of danger, he'll try and make his way away and it looks like he might just make it. The fire spirit damage, not going to be enough, he will survive. 35 HP. The KB and Rodgy down. A bit of a uh, bit of mid T1 tower pressure being applied. They've got the push potential on hand. They do not have Dragon Form for a few seconds. So there's enough time here for SMG to respond with a bit of a defense. You can see Moon just being far forward. Is under a sentry. They've got an idea as to where that Ricky is. And TNC just, again, playing a lot more safe, a lot more disciplined. They don't force the issue. They go back to farming. They go back and try to build up the advantage. SMG, though, do find a smoke in these Still the Moon's been caught out already. KB can rotate in, has the primal split, and will go for it right off the block. But a nice snowball back the way of Moon. They want the Ricky dead. Tricks the trade is out. That should protect him long enough for Boomy. He actually Icarus dived in there and does get hexed up, but won't cost him his own life. There's now Tim's. He's stuck around as well. A small mistake from TNC, but it is going to cost them heavily. It's SMG now. They're the ones to take the first new T1 tower. And that's not what you like to see if you're a TNC fan. It's exactly what's happened. Break the smoke of TNC if he needs to. Instead, they'll run the other way. Mid lane where they might find Rodney. And there's your snowball out, but Rodney will go for a run. But it won't matter. They reach him. Dyer's middle tower. Immediately into that T1 mid tower. 
you've got the Krona to play with. In fact, Gabby, he's TPing up top. They want Moon. They want the CEO. They want him dead ASAP and TMT connects the snowball with the Warriors punch out. Moon, he's going to try and blink strike away with the TP. Can they get a stun? Can they get a bash? They will get the stun. It's going to be a, feeling a little bit tankier and being able to escalate and farm a little bit faster. You can see TNT, they are posturing quite aggressively. In fact, they do find our food. We're going to try and find a way out of this one, but it looks like he is exact same spot as last time, and he does time walk in, Moon. He's going to try and blink strike his way out into the tree line. Gabby, as it does, does pop it, does find it. Roggy, hex out, finger committed, smoke screen there, but the snowball will buy some time. Gabby needs to get out of that silence. He will get out eventually, but now the trick's of the train out. Instead, they'll go after Roggy. They'll get the line, and now the chrono right on target. They'll find the Ricky. Moon has nowhere to go but down. And Gabby will get a double kill. G just have no answer for the gameplay of Gabby so far. Oh, no. This could feel a lot better, but still really squishy and vulnerable to be up in front for his team. Again in that mid lane, SMG, they want to try and go off the bottom, but can they burst him down fast enough? He's a tanky boy. They'll go for the primal split, the pips, he's into the backside, onto Roggy, they want the lion dead bot. He's still surviving, they can't kill the viper. Oh, Fumi Mom, just ticking down slowly as Gabby will continue to chase up. They just want the support gone and they will get him. It's almost the same story as last game. It just seems like as it's it's a damage issue, and Radiant's this time around, SMG weren't even able to play aggressive early. But like last time around, we saw them put some forward wards behind the T1. We did that triangle for a while. This time they've just been playing a bit more passive because of Medusa, and it's just getting TNT more of the opportunities to dictate the game. They're in that Roche pit right now. They've got a lot of damage flying through, especially the tag team up. You can't afford to get this one away. You haven't got the primal split. I'm not sure about this one. As Gabby will jump out onto the Brewmaster and KP. Looks like he's about to dive at the Stone Gaze and the Hex. May have got a bit of time. It's the backside. They'll go up to Rocky, but they'll lose Tim and they'll lose Boomy as Gabby now. He's out of position. They'll earth spike him up and he cannot time walk away. It's a great team fight out for SMG now. It seems like all they needed was mid one to join in. They want to try and fight him this Roshan though, TNT. I want to allow this to go for free, and Boomy is looking for a way to dive in, but there is help around. Aegis is going to be taken. Moon has got it on the Ricky, and now Boomy in out of position and does get fingered out. On both sides, it looks like they're just going to take a bit of a breather. They say that, but the jump's in. Ah, no, he's found Roggy on the line. Snowball is going to be there to follow up and does end up connecting with now Moon. He's jumped in. They've killed off Roggy, but they might lose Armel. Moon for that DK. He is taking a lot of damage from the CEO himself, but Armel is still alive somehow. There's your Edgar. They're still trying to man fight. They'll eventually get him, but now Gabby will run in. But no, there's your Cyclone out from KB to hold him up in the air. They don't have the damage that's required now. Instead, they'll go after Armu. Ash out. And you kill this enchantress with a nice shaft up. Maybe you can, but the rapid jump from Roggy will hold them back as Moon on the backside. Does kill off Bob. Gabby, meanwhile, still trying to get off Boo, but it is taking way too darn long, and now they get the hex out. That'll be Gabby gone, and our Boo gets a sweet, sweet tip out. Onto the void as Boomy. Gonna try and run and could eventually die. Roggy just waiting for that Earth Spike to be back up, and he does eventually. Especially when mid one does join these fights with that Aghanim Scepter up. It's so hard. The Estonian that's happening to your heroes is Gabby now. He gets jumped on. They'll have the Sun Ray to try and heal him up, but look how slow he runs. With that Diffuse one, they just blow him up. He is just gone. Now Bok trying to fight our food, but we've seen this story before. The Enchantress is. ENC. It's. Looking tough for them. I mean, Gabby, she needs a BKB or something, and Moon. He's just in on Boomy. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. It's, it's, it's awkward for people. Like, they have no way of stopping this Ricky's initiation with that uh, blink strike smoke screen. They don't have four stats up yet to save. They need some way of getting out of that silence to use their spells. But SMP's just playing so fine here. To another Tim's. Just can't survive the damage output. I love what Moon's doing. He's just so confident right now, understanding the advantage he has. He jumps in off those T4s and now Bob climb back off, but such a hard kind of defense to make for TNT, but don't try. Oh no, jumps in with the stun, but there's your smoke screen out. 
Make sure no Chrono is there to follow up a mid one. We'll pop the Stone Gaze. Armel just turning his back, but there's Moon jumping in again with the tricks of the train, and it will be enough damage as they go in with the egg now. But where's your Chrono? It'll be committed onto mid one. But where's your Tamage jump? But he's taking on another tornado. KB just disrupting the void mid Chrono. It's gonna be on the box again. The life is in trouble, and now Gabby has been caught out. He'll go down. There's no flyback left. Barracks are under attack. He do at least kill off Moon, who dived way too deep. Perhaps that'll be enough to try and defend this mid lane of Rats, but it seems the mid one is going to be able to finish it off and should be able to just back off to safety for SMG. The good news for TNC is that they lost the map. Standing their advantage. Making sure to just kind of choke out TNC and not give them that breathing room. Yeah. Let's put out Fermi and it only takes Big Chronos with eggs to follow up. We need to avoid the smoke screen as much as possible, avoid that earth spike and hex. Uh, Gabby's taking massive risk walking here though. He was under a ward. Was and Moon. He has a DD rune up. Gabby, he's gonna go to farm the creep wave, but he's gonna pay for this very soon as Moon is just gonna continue stalking him. Gabby needs to find a way out, but he hasn't got a BKB yet, and there's your finger out. Even another one, oh no. He showed up on the DK. We'll try for the TP play, but is it gonna be enough? Big to answer here, and he's gonna have to really play perfect to punish any overextension from SMG. What a turnaround as well from SMG, right? Like compared to game one and even the first 15 minutes of game two, they, they just didn't look great. But now it looks like they've gotten that momentum they were looking for and they're, they're feeling amazing. At least they are looking amazing in this game too. As TNT, it's a very tough team to come back from. They're going to have to try their best, but there's just so much room to catch up. Much room to do it in. Gabby, he's still trying to get that BKB up from a void, but it, it, it's going to be such a long time. In fact, never mind. It's going to be about 450 gold, but like, sorry. Feels like it's probably not going to be enough at this stage. No, it's, There's a uh, butterfly coming out on mid one. There's just too much durability on this deuce already. Like, you don't really want to catch her in the chrono, but you have to. But you have to focus on the other heroes to kill first. Like, the deuce is just a bit too tanky, unless you get a good chrono wherein your Viper and your DK can hit from the outside as well. Maybe with that much focus damage, you can melt through the deuce. Uh, it, it's going to be hard if they do get the Aegis, so that's going to be two lives, potentially cheese on mid one as well. Free Ag Shard coming out to maybe buff up that. Uh, that Brewmaster as well with a primal split could be really annoying. Still the good scan out does manage to save SMG. They know that there's some can't play around the Roach Pit. They play it safe and they could turn it around. If they know TNC is going to try to sneak a Roach themselves, they could wrap around behind, get some punishment off. Like how you said the other uh, scan saved SMG, I, I feel like the scan saved TNC where this game's going. They are going to make their way up to the high ground right now. Moon looking for a target. Will Blitz strike right into the Phoenix. But a nice four star away. And there's your egg. Big spread out immediately. It will be enough to survive for now. But meanwhile, on the backside, Roggy has been caught out of Wolf Time the Lion. Will they skill off Fermi? And now they'll find Tim's. Great start here for the side of SMGs. They'll find another. Will die. Uh, almost lost Armel there as well. Mid TP is. Oh, Gabby's not even out. Quite free yet. The trade smoke screen is right on top. He's trying to pretend like it's a tree. They do see him now. They're trying to make the run. He can be up in a media fashion. Now the chrono being committed. He's gonna try and kill down the Ricky, but Moon is actually quite tanky now. He just won't die. Snowball forward through the briefly back onto that Ricky, but it's just not enough. Hems, he's in a pretty awkward position is now Bob. We chase down the Viper. The another death for Boss and they call, they've had enough. This game is all over the place for TNT and SMG. Well, 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 what a turnaround, John. Just look, stick in this game, too. It could be one way to kind of manage that early on, but there's some specific timings for Terrible you have to play with. You have to always be aware of your metamorphosis, and that does mean that SMG has more uptime with Dedusa. Like, you don't necessarily need the Stone Gaze, but even then, it's not that long of cooldown in the late game. So, a turning point, I know. Like, the one thing with the DK Persona, though, the helmet kind of makes it hard to read. I prefer him without the helmet, so... There's that, but look at SMG. 
They smoked up. They did this in before, and if they get a good wrap around here, they've got a lot of stuns, a lot of damage on hand. Uh, I really like this move, but this time around, Tim's he's going to be around to make sure he breaks the smoke or spot him out and get a nice shards up. And with the Earth Spike, they might have enough control to get another stun out from Moon. And with that, they'll give the first one over. Pretty awkward for our mill, like the Puck versus Leshrac matchup. Can go either way. You have stable wave clear on both. Of course, you have to always control your lane. Once a creep wave shoves in just a bit for Moon, he can look to play with Edict once that's up and just constantly apply early than he wants to. As we're having a look up at the top lane where KB, it's a nice double silence off. Abigail plus Inkswell, but you're not really seeing up although Tim's chasing Raji. He is, Roggy being caught out. Nice earth spike though, and mid one gonna be around to help out as Roggy does go for a nice salve up and Tim's. Bottom lane, earth spike is out. A bomb. On that DK, and now with the shards and the tag team, it might just be enough to get through box HP pull of the snowball. Give me that a follow up, but he's a very tanky DK. We'll be able to back off as now our no. Make the rotation in. He only got one with just need plus one to lock him down. This Moon can land the Split Earth, but won't be able to get it this time. Instead, Roggy, he'll come in from the side. DP's cancelled off early, so he's already missing one here on the side of TNC. And now they're going to lose Bok. Oh no, he does show up, but it is too late. More space for mid one to feel safe. You get more uh, platform for the deuce of to hit those item spikes. And TNC's just in a really awkward position right now. I won't just connect, but Arthur now wants to back off as Gabby. You might go for Gabby, but they're going to head towards that top lane where KB does cancel off his TP and now goes for a rupture. Gabby, maybe stuck there. He'll try to get out of vision. Our food snowball not going to be there in time. We'll just roll the other ways. They'll go after Tim's instead. One right, not actually going to get the vision as Tim's. He just ran straight south and they haven't found him. Tim's is somehow out of there. They're still having a look around. They really wanted that kill. And Gabby's still kind of given a lot of space here, all things considered. But they'll be able to find that top tier one. So Armel's here. Well, out Armel, he's got a massive target there as Fonk. They try and help out with the Dragon Tail. That should be enough to lock him down and get the damage out. SMG means that SMG zone moves are not really panning out. TNT, knowing Rupture is down, they've got a bit of a spell advantage there, and they're going to look for a smoke play here. Yeah, Armel going to move on to the high ground. They'd love to find mid one, and that's exactly who they do get as the x does come in with the Sans and with Comfortable to play the farm game here with TNC. No real pressure being applied, although I say that top lane, they're going to find our food. TNC, they'll get another kill for themselves onto Armel. He is fourth of the course for farming up at a steady pace. The one thing that does line up to, though, is that I feel like a Terrorblade with Metamorphosis is a lot stronger early, earlier on. The damage boost is huge. Adusa needs so many more items to really hit that stride. And I think as long as TNT understands that the pressures would have to get a little smoke broke. Okay, he's in trouble though. He'll die to Armel. He'll get the rupture after it won't matter. And meanwhile, on the other side of the map, they have started on the team fight as Bob. He is being focused down and eventually may go down. To be able to get him. Except this should be more than enough as top lane. KB gonna get caught out with the Dragon Tail and with the Ink Swap. Follow up, but it'll be more than enough. Take him down and Gabby. Three and of course, for either side, you don't really want to have to get knocked to the lower bracket in the first round of the playoffs, but that's actually how it's gonna be. Is now they found our fool on the task. I have to finish up his travels and blink, so the puck's a lot more mobile as well, and he's jumping in. Oh no, he's right in, Roggy, gonna die immediately as Arfu goes for the Wallace punch, but the orb out from Arno. It's gonna mean they can't quite catch him. He's gonna find, Bok is showing, but Arno is the much bigger target if they can catch him. Bok, he might prove to be a little bit too tanky, in fact now he jumps in, looking for a dragon tail. They'll get the hex out, into the Wallace punch. Sunray is keeping him alive, but he's been ruptured up. He cannot run, but doesn't matter. They found our food for the sake of the DK, and now Moon goes down as well. KB, he's gonna try and run, but it looks like he is set to die and does. All right. Moomy with that Sunray just it felt like he kept Bok around for so much longer than he should have been alive. And DNC, they just got the damage out and immediately jumped there into the Roshan pit. This is just perfect coming out. From TNC, there's no way for SMG to clear fell to one. Straight runs in. 
Manly might impact all now SMG. They're gonna be the ones to go into the Roshan pit. It's still roughly half HP. In mid one, he'll get started. Can't see. They should be aware that this is happening. They did have vision. How are they gonna try and fight this? With the sun ray and the reflection, it'll force them out of the pit. They're going right back in, mid one. He wants to fight. Tag team up, R2 gonna get started. Zumi gonna be forced back. Magatel is out, Moon, he went too far. Snowball though is gonna save R2. We'll buy some time. There's just Stone Gaze out as well. They're right in onto the DK box. He's dropping quite low and will die. A great start to the fight. This MG are back in the Roshan. Meanwhile, our Melvo does end up killing off KB, but he does die for the first time this game as TNC. They are still trying to fight this one out. Moon, he'll hold the back though, along with our first mid one. He'll get the Roshan done, and now Gabby, he'll go for a Sunder, but he is really just stuck between all the side of SMG. He's gonna go down. Never a panic Roshan attempt from TNC, and really just does not work out in their favor. They weren't ready for that fight. It... Moon's still going. He wants teams on the Grimstroke. He smoked up. Gonna find. Oh, he's gonna break the smoke and run. He's got him with the hex out on the Warrior's Punch. They lock him down and Obok, he's got no help around him, so he's just kind of fought. Fun hand. The illusion spam coming up from the Terrible Leader is pretty nice as well. They should at least get this sort of consolation prize on the tier 2. Maybe even get the outpost if they want to deny some XP per minute away from SMG. SMG for their part, age, a lot of time for mid one to be protected. And going for this, and TNT, well, they're under a smoke right now. They could look to play into that high ground here. Mid one, he does not want to be caught like this with the sun ray and the dragon tail right on top. Still, he got the stone games off in time, so he can try to back off. And now the soul mine locking him down. And look at the damage output. Oh Abby just God. rips him to shreds onto the blood seeker. KP's gone. Armel's got the backside. He'll kill off Rodgy. And now Moon, he's gonna try and run, but he has been left all by himself. He'll get him. Your essence Oh, what kind of. Damage was that from Gabby? Daedalus, man. It's, it's, it's the itemization compared to the Dusa. The Dusa going for that MKB, it's, it's just not enough damage. And it's not it's not any more durability as well for the Dusa to stand and fight. It's just not panning out. And they, they have to put that Dusa up front as well. So the tank is hero. It's the one that can take all the hits. You don't really want your Bloodseeker up front. Uh, and that just puts you at massive risk. They managed to get the initiation they want. They, I think they kind of focused on Armel on the low ground, but they didn't expect everyone else to swing in from that southern ramp, and it just kind of cost them. High ground under siege, Aegis cheese, free ag shard up. It, it's really scary to fight into this. They don't even have the stone gaze just yet, although it should be up by the time it respawns there. But these objectives will not hold for too long. They won't get mega creeps up as the tier 2 top is still standing. But two lanes of Rax down, and it's going to be a bit more annoying for SMG to keep these goods shoved out. The Rax is down now for SMG as the second does get taken by Gabby as we speak. Icarus Dive going to find out our food. Green Pearl there, they want to just take the Tusk out of the team fight immediately. They do break the coil. King Swell right behind by Bob. Take him out. It's our food down with our fire back again. Can't see. Secondary Rax, Gabby. As the Aegis, there's your soul by now. In fact, they might just try and turn around and fight this. Roger's already gone down. Down the sun around mid one. Oh no. He's dead without buyback. Oh man. Oh, it's a disaster here, John. TNC. Really hard. They're going under the team falls now, Rodney, he's trying to get something done with the finger out. They're going after Armel, oh, but he is still alive. He'll get the phase shift off with the all down the left ground by Moon. He will secure the kill, but doesn't matter. They are getting completely wiped and they call the GG. DNC. They just turn right back around and, and take game three off the side of SMG. Yeah, it looked really even for a long time, but <laughs>